Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I know of a few ways to optimize Windows performance. In many cases, it just involves changing small things here and there. We had a person come into our chat room today at noon. He went by the handle Greek Homer. Says, hey, here's a question. Is it safe to delete prefetch files in Windows? I heard that should make my laptop run or start faster. And what he is talking about is a folder inside your Windows folder or directory, depending on what kind of geek you are. And in there it sits a handful of relatively benign files that Windows uses to optimize applications as they load into RAM. Clearing this folder uh, is not going to give you any performance gains at all. And you're not really going to be saving that much hard drive space either. So if you think that clearing the folder helps, yeah, yeah I guess you could clear it. Is it recommended? No, not at all. Not if you want to optimize uh, speed of Windows. Uh, the prefetch files and folders are they're self-cleaning, if you will. Um, Windows uses these files uh, on demand. When an application loads, it looks at the prefetch, if there is a prefetch, to help optimize how it is put into memory. Because remember, programs themselves sit on your hard drive, and when you want to run them, when you open a program, when you launch an application, those two phrases can be interchanged, it loads that into memory, and the prefetch file, if it's associated with that binary, with that program, can help that optimization. Clearing it out doesn't do you any good. I mean, more than anything, it'd probably be a placebo effect. Uh, in terms of how to go speeding up Windows, gosh, where do I begin? Uh, in fact, uh, forget it. I, you know, I could I could go on and on since I've been doing this for years. Uh, I'll name a couple of them, but I'm going to ask the uh, uh, chat room what uh, of their favorite tips are uh, for speeding up Windows. OMS config, that's a good one. Buy a new computer, that's another good tip. Although I don't know how practical. Uh, prefetch uh, emptying will make the boot actually slower. That's what I heard. Disk cleanup. Get a Mac, defrag, take a hammer to it. I think that's the Wicket Fan Club's answer to everything. Actually, the first time, yes, Griff, a little bit it has to refresh the boot tags. That says Uncle John. CC cleaner to dump a lot of junk. Um, delete any temp files on your system. Very good wireless packet. Uh, we've talked about the disk cleaner that's built into Windows before, and certainly cleaning up the temp files can help to a certain degree. Uh, more than anything, just freeing up disk space. Window washer, uh, get advanced Windows care. Well, I'm not exactly sure what that is necessarily. Uh, you know, there's a lot of programs out there that claim to speed up your system, but you know, quite honestly, um, they they don't really do that much to speed things up. Now, there are exceptions to every rule. Certainly, I've known of a few uh, internet speed up utilities, some of which I've talked about in the past and fully endorse. Uh, uh, things like fast cache. Uh, in relation to uh, the way that Windows uh, handles DNS lookups uh, for websites or any type of internet address that you may try to access, no matter how you access it. Google Web Accelerator. I don't know about the Web Accelerator. We've talked about that too, and the jury's still out on whether or not that's actually useful. It can actually be more harmful than good. Um, there's a mod for Firefox that slightly speeds up browsing. So yeah, you know, you got to be careful when you're looking to eke speed out of your system. Uh, it usually involves a hardware upgrade. I mean, if Windows is running too slow for you, you got a few choices. A, run less programs at one time. B, run better programs. C, get better hardware. Uh, and that's those those are my three top tips for speeding up Windows or any operating system for that matter. Uh, you know, there's so many variables that come into play, but uh, a lot of times these tweaking ideas and tips, uh, you know, the, the good ones help your productivity or help the way Windows looks. But in terms of optimizing for speed, you know, that, that's just hit or miss. The best one I ever found for that uh, for Windows XP was Cashman XP that recently went through an upgrade, I believe, if I didn't mention that in, in, in a video in the past few months, Cashman XP, and in both the case of Fast Cash and Cashman, that's C-A-C-H-E. And the idea of a cache is much like your temporary internet files within Internet Explorer. It's um, 
a stable of information that has been accessed so that it can be readily accessed again. So instead of having to go out and get it again, it's already got the information stored in this cache, in this area, in this space. So to get to it again, it's quicker because it knows exactly where it needs to go instead of having to go out and find it and then figure out what needs to happen. The cache uh, is a, a, a place for storage, in many cases, temporary storage. Uh, anyway, so uh, now I'm going to toss it out to you. And you're not exactly the chat room at large, but you are the community at large, anybody who watches these videos. What are your favorite tips for really, truly speeding up Windows? I mean, like I said, I've given my three, <laughs> there's no questions asked. Those are, the, those are as, as, as easy as they get tips. Uh, but what about you? What do you do to speed up Windows differently, the same uh, as anybody else? Uh, let us know. Uh, leave a comment, remark, follow up, whatnot. Uh, or of course, you're welcome to swing by the chat room. I'm sure you're going to ask questions anyway. Come to the chat room, drop us your favorite tip, ask a question about a tip you may have heard of, including like what Greek Homer did. He asked before he did it. That's a good way to go. You should always, always triple check with your friends before doing something crazy or possibly something that could damage you in the short and or long run. So if you want to find us, our community is alive and well. Sure, you've found us on YouTube most likely, but uh, if you want to chat with us day or night, live.perillo.com, as ITGuy111 says, if he's not saying thank you, he's saying we are spyware free. He's absolutely correct. So until next time, we'll see you later.